you look like you're on like this secluded beach somewhere. If I turn the camera this way, it's like you're, you're in the city somewhere. It's very confusing. Holy cow, that is so cool. What's going on, Adventurers VKJ? It is day number dos in Okinawa, Japan. Harigato. And today we are heading out. We want to go to a couple different places. My boy Mike said that there is a rooftop pool at a hotel here. It's an affinity pool to be exact. And we're going to go over there and check it out. We're not sure if we're allowed to use it yet. It might be for hotel guests only, but we're going to check it out. We're going to ask some questions really close to that hotel, there is a beach. The only beach in Naha City, and it's a man-made beach, but there's something there. <laughs> yes, I'll that's awesome. There you go. There, but there's something about this beach in particular that I've never seen before. I'm inviting you guys out there to join us on this beach, infinity pool, Okinawan, Japan adventure. Let's go! A little recap of last uh, yesterday. So yesterday, Mike got his hair cut at a little little uh, random Okinawan Japanese shop. He had one of his own experiences. There was not one, but two people cutting his hair at the same time, which is pretty interesting to say the least. We also went to, yes, yes. We went to Shuri Castle, which was pretty great. It's under construction, obviously. There's a lot of reconstruction that still needs to happen to this very day, and I think that's one of those places. The thing that was cool that came out of it was we got a chance to get pictures in a kimono, like an uh, original or authentic cultural Japanese garb, which was pretty, pretty cool, I have to say. That was one of the highlights yesterday. But that's not all. Oh, no, no, no. Your boys went to go get a little massage soap me rub. with soap and you're going to see a video on that too i'm not going to go into that in depth right now but let's just say your boy vk had his first japanese lady experience thank you very much okay i got better focus on what i'm doing i'm going to i need to focus on today's events but let's just say i'm feeling chipper and sprightly after I got a little more pep in my step, okay, after last night. I don't know. That's neat, though. You never know what you're going to see here. Look at that thing. I don't know what it says, but it looks cool. And I like orange, so what the heck. It looks like Naha City here has like an aqueduct system. Probably when it rains here really bad, it's just like city overflow to make sure that the streets don't flood here. I think it's funny because with all of the rain and bad weather a lot of places have been having all over the world, probably some more cities should have something like this. And the water running out over there just sounds nice. Yeah, it almost looks like that. I can't get over some of these cars here. Look at this. It's like a, it's a pink car. And this thing is a, is a tow cot. A tow cot. Look at that thing. Like the cars are incredible here. <laughs> Gotta love that color. I don't know, this, do, we, do we have pastel colors in the United States? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Could be though. Doubt it. That's where we're heading right there. It says Hotel Aqua Cita Naha. That's where we're heading. So, looks like it might be on the outside of the street out there. Should we want to walk out there? It's, like on, it's on the outside of the block.
Uh oh, it's hitting the fan right now. All right, so now we're outside of the Aqua City Hotel. Aqua Cita. Let's go inside and check it out. Oh. And this is the little advertisement they have right here for the pool. There's literally like a girl swimming in a pool on top of the city almost. It's pretty cool. But we'll see. Okay, so because I read you pay money, you can come at night time, have a drink. Oh, and... so that's all that's only for the customer who is staying down for deal. So oh, yes. this you have to pay after seven PM. Oh, the customers have to pay. Uh oh. Okay, so it's not possible for anybody besides someone staying. Oh, no, that's okay. It looks like in order to use the pool here, you have to be a hotel guest. There isn't any day passes or anything like that. But hey, we tried. Sometimes they do have outside passes or they have a, a time. They look like they had like a pool party at night, but it looks like that's not gonna happen. So anyhow, there's not gonna be any infinity pool footage. I know you guys are really disappointed. <laughs> look at the front of this establishment. I would assume it's a restaurant, but I can't tell. It's interesting. We fell upon some ancient Japanese dragon ruins. And it looks like these two pillars on either side of the street kind of welcoming people into the, the area right here. So you got one right here in the foreground and one on the opposite side of the street right over there. They are absolutely incredible. I believe that when we went to the Shuri Tam uh, t um, Castle the other day, these are recreations of something that they actually had there but just on a way larger scale, you know, very reminiscent of old Japan and their culture. How cool is that? I wanted to get a drone shot of this, but unfortunately we're too close to the airport. So we're just gonna have to get it my GoPro here. Oh my gosh, they're so cool. They are really, really neat. Incredible. There's one more view of the big statue here. That's awesome. Wow. You're kidding. That's it, right there. You're We're kidding. I'm not kidding. This is the right, this is the big reveal. I was I was ready to be underwhelmed, but this is a little It's man-made. Well, let me see. It's as bad as I think. No, I think you're gonna be impressed. Now, adventurers, one of the reasons why I wanted to come here is because it's the only beach I've ever seen on any of my vacations that doesn't just have a beach. It's a man-made beach, but it has an overpass. I mean, it's the only beach in the world that has the view of the highway. The water is actually not bad. Yeah, no. And the sand is not bad. No, it looks good. This no. Is is not the worst beach I've ever seen. No, I'm telling you, it's not the worst beach. It just might be the worst view. <laughs> I well, mean, and it's noisy, but who cares? Right. Well, this is city folk here. You know, I want you to pretend like you're in. Uh, I mean, if you've ever been to Coney Island in New York, I mean, this is giving me a little bit of Coney Island vibes, Asian style. And the only reason why is because it's like, it's like a beach, but it's just a little dirty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but, but hey, what the heck? You know, look, when in Rome. This water is clear. You can see through it. No, I know. It's not like uh, uh, Let's go down. Shit, I've been to much worse places. Yeah. I might dip my fucking feet in there. They look, they got a little ice cream truck. They got a bathroom. They even got a lifeguard. I'm not like totally repulsed about this. I, I like it. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. They got a bathing beauty right there too. What's she doing? Yeah, she is very tan. 
Yeah. Checking everything out. I wish I could, oh, how do we pronounce this beach? That's the whole, that's the question here. I can, the beach we're at right now is Nami, Namin Noe, Namin Noe Beach. I'm not sure, if, I'm not sure if you can see it right there, but that is where we're at. Hopefully it is not too much of a glare. Namin Noe Beach, the man-made beach here in Naha, Okinawa. So, finally made it here to the beach. Let's go down and, uh, ooh, I'm gonna put my feet in the water real quick here. Check it out. And there it is. There's the overpass beach. I have to say the water is nice and warm and it's very clear so not bad got some people out there bathing is it warm? yeah it's pretty warm nice and warm nice and clear so far so good it's not a very crowded day here at the beach i wasn't expecting it to be i don't know if that's a big thing for japanese people or not coming to the beach obviously it's a big deal where we come from to go to the beach. We got to go over here and check out this cliff. And then we're going to go up on top of the cliff because on top of the cliff over here, they got like a, um, oh, what is it? Uh, well, you'll see in a second. Looks like they have nets up to keep up, keep out like sharks and unwanted creatures we want right here look at that cliff you can see the water literally is carved out wow whoa some sort of uh, head in there. There is a skull up here. Wait, I, I just got to I got to get the the skull. I ain't going inside. Look at the skull right there. You see it? Oh, what is that? We are not going in there. They do have a gated off right here, but me and Mike are paying no attention to that. So we got to get you the footage, adventurers. We got to get you the footage. We're going through. We're going out and around. Look at this thing. Dang. Wow, it's incredible. Ugh. And there, it's just so funny. It's like an overpass over there. So it's like, it's like if you face the camera this direction, you look like you're on like this secluded beach somewhere, you know, on, on a tropical island or something like that with the waves lapping in the background. And then if I turn the camera this way, it's like you're, you're in the city somewhere. It's very confusing. All right, adventurers. So we made it to the other side of the beach here, but now we're going to go up to the top. So if you look right up there, you see a roof just peering over the, the cliffs there. And this was a location that the boats coming in and out of the harbor would look up at and it would bless their voyage. So we're going to go up there and get blessed for a good vacation. Let's go. Do you remember the name of that beach that we're just at? I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, to be honest with you. It's like Namis, Namisu, maybe Namase, something like that, I believe. This is it right here. All right, there it is. Na Namino, Na, 
Min Oe Shrine. We are, we're going up this thing. This has got some pretty cool like lanterns off to the side here. I, I imagine at night, these are all lit up. Showing you the way up the mountain. I gotta turn off this navigation. It keeps talking to me. Exit. <clears throat> hey, bathrooms too. You gotta go to the bathroom. Wow. Look at that. The architecture here is just incredible. Now these are some steep steps right here. We're going up. Looks like they might have a restaurant. Whoa. Mike, look at these things. Wash your hands, rinse your mouth, and wash your hands again. So it says here you're supposed to wash your hands, then rinse in your mouth, and then wash your hands again. So we're gonna get into it, let's go. So, wow, these things are so cool. Take this, then. Wash your hands, rinse your mouth, and wash your hands again. There you go. Let me get a little close up on these things right here. Wow. Are you sure, Mike? You don't want to get in on this blessing, baby? Oh, some hepatitis? No, no thanks. And, yeah, and, this water is getting recirculated and everyone's spit. And here it's is coming right back through the fucking nozzle. Here is the instructions right here. It says, Wash your hands, rinse your mouth, yeah. and wash your hands again. <laughs> Pretty cool. Looks like maybe a general here, the honoring. So it looks like here you can get some um, ambulance and put them over there. And these are the different prices right here. Uh, let's see here. You know what? 
I'll get. I'll do a 500. There's my 500 here, and go over there and get one. Can you choose one for me, for 500? You choose choose one for me, for 500. Good, a good one. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I see, I see. How about travel safely? Cause we on our vacation. Oh, it's like a blessing or something. Yeah. Putting your prayer on the wall. Exactly. Yeah. Sounds good. We 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 could we could use some good travel. Yes. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. And then and then I put over here, or, or no? What, what what's this over here? Unbox. Yeah. Box. And then you take. Oh, okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, so that's something a little bit different. Oh, I see. All right. Then we're gonna look in here. We're gonna get. A written oracle it says, a written oracle number 29. I guess to, I guess I open it up. Gone are the high waves and strong winds, the sun shrine peacefully in the ocean. Good fortune. Fairly good. It would not be long before. So this right here is kind of like a fortune cookie. It says, wish. If it'll take long, you'll be able to realize it. Expected visitor, he or she will come but late. Missing thing, it will be found. Look at, look at it for high places, travel, take your time. So we gotta take our time, business. It's time to buy, study. It's time to do your best, prospects, buy now. Game I don't, match. I don't understand any of it, dude. I don't, that sounds... Look at this, and look at the mission That's cool. Okay, so I read my fortune. And now I have to put it on, it looks like this board right over here, and then all of my fortunes will come true. Unfortunately, there's no cookie. I wanted a cookie. I was a little hungry, but we're just gonna, we're gonna do this. Okay. So, here Mike, hold this for one second. So I can tie, I think I gotta figure out how to tie this on here, which is not going to be any easy feat. Okay. Uh, right here looks like a good spot. So I'm taking this, I'm gonna tie it on. Oh, I, I ripped it, I ripped. Your dream's not gonna come true now. No, 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 half of the dream. Nope, your wish is dead. Three quarters of the dream <laughs> will, will come through, jump true. <laughs> Wait a second, look at these girls. They look happy. All right, so let me, let me read this real quick here. It says, they the, got some cake too. The code is that, of, uh, rude? of conduct in Shinto. Shinto is the path of eternal universe and cultivates noble spirit and the opens foundation for peace. Humbly receive the divine, will inherit the teaching of ancestors, promote the welfare of humanity, and manifest the essence of the path. Hence the mission is accomplished. The code of conduct in Shinto is held as above, therefore, resolved to practice it and enhance the path of humanity. Appreciate the blessings of gods and benevolence of the ancestors. Devote oneself to religious ceremony with holy devotion. Render services for the people and the world as a minister of gods. Therefore, it makes and strengthens the land of the living. Accept the heart of the emperor to grow intimate and become gentle. Pray for the prosperity of the country, coexistence, and co-prosperity of the world. Oh, man, she's hot. So, here in Japan, you can have a lot of fun, you can make dreams come true, and you can actually bless your travels. And whether it's real or it's not, it's hocus pocus, or it's just for fun, at the end of the day, I truly implore all of you adventurers out there, ah, just go around with an open mind and, and enjoy life. And you know, don't, don't worry about some of the, I don't know, the details. Don't sweat the details. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it positive and enjoy. And then keep it moving, baby. We learned a lot in a small amount of time. Very, very interesting. I absolutely love it. 
It's a, it's a beautiful day to come and visit a beautiful place. It's VKJ. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe button, and the notification button. We are out of here.